This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So let's bring it all together, shall we, with our diluted earnings per share? Because what we've got here is within this example, it wants us to work out the fully diluted EPS for the year December 20x5. So what we have here uh, is a company that has its account to the 31st of December each year. Uh, and you've got your basic EPS on your actual shares of a thousand million. And is it there your earnings of 500 million? Okay. So just to, to get the basics, pardon the pun. Uh, if we were to go through that and look at your basic EPS. Then you would take the $500 million divided by the 1,000 million shares. Gives you the, is it 50 cents per share? And that figure there would be disclosed at the bottom of the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income with the prior year comparative. Okay. Uh, but what about your diluted EPS? Well, what we need to go through and do there with our diluted EPS is see whether or not the instruments that we have that are in issue at the end of the year will actually reduce that basic earnings per share figure. So what we have here are some convertible debentures and some share options. So what we will need to do is we will need to look at each of them in isolation and then we will need to go through there and if each of them is dilutive in nature bring both of them in to our calculations here okay for our diluted earnings per share because what we're going to go through and do there is that we're going to start off with the 500 million dollars we're going to start off with the 1,000 million shares, and then we're going to add on any extra earnings that are going to happen in the future and any additional shares that will be issued. Okay, so what have we got? First one to go through and start off with, I think, is to look at your convertible debt. Uh, so what we've got to think about there will be the extra earnings. And the extra shares. So what have we got within this scenario? Uh, well, here it says we have 10 million 5% convertible bonds. So again, 5% is the rate of interest. Uh, that will be applied, is it there, to the $10 million. And the tax rate is there at 20%. So here, the extra earnings is looking at your post-tax interest saved. So here... It's 5% of the $10 million. Tax is at 20%, so we'll be left with 80%, won't we? Uh, if you tap that into your calculator, just check uh, 10 million times by 0 0.05 times by 0 0.8. Is that there as $400,000? Uh, the extra shares, remember, that is the maximum number that are going to be issued. Uh, so here you have two scenarios. So for every $100 of loan stock, uh, we will have the maximum at 125 as opposed to, is it 120? So the maximum additional number of shares that you have is that the as... The 10 million 
divided by one hundred dollars multiplied by was it one hundred and twenty five shares uh, does that give me then twelve point five million shares okay uh, the likelihood is that it will be diluted or dilutive. Uh, so would it reduce the EPS? I think you find the answer would be yes. Because if you do 400,000 uh, divided by the 12.5 million, Uh, that works out, is it, at 3.2 cents per share. And that is less than our basic earnings per share figure that we had. Was it the of, let me remember, 50 cents? Is that right? Okay. Yeah, 50 cents. So what we've got to do there is we need to add in, is it the 400,000? And add in the 12.5 million. Okay. Excellent. There we go. Uh, so what we need to go through and do that is we then need to go through having looked at the convertible debt. We then need to look at the the options. Okay. Uh, what you will find with your options is that, that they are always, always, always dilutive. Because there are going to be some additional shares that are issued. And there's not going to be any adjustment to the earnings. So what we need to work out here. Are the number of. Free shares. Okay. And you've got a standard working to go through there. And look at. So you need to go through there and look at the number. of shares under the option so how many shares are you actually getting physically from this offer so here it says flanagan also granted 100 million options okay at the reporting date so you've got the 100 million options that's how many you get when you pay the price under the option however you need to then go through there and look at the number of shares at market value so looking at how much do you pay in total and how much would that payment get if you were to buy the shares at their full market value so the amount that we actually pay take the 100 million and multiplies it by is it two dollars fifty because here the option price the amount that we pay is two dollars fifty okay so two dollars fifty multiplied by a hundred million so you're paying two hundred and fifty million dollars to get those 100 options but if you pay the fair value the market value there of four so if we were to divide it by four then what would we get is it the 62.5 million shares so this offers pretty good isn't it because what you've got there is the fact now uh that you've got a free amount an additional amount you'd have paid 250 million uh, to get 62.5 million shares, but you're actually going to pay 250 million to get yourself 100 million shares. Okay. Uh, which, which is saying that there's going to be a free element of shares, isn't it? 37.5. That is always, 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 always going to be dilutive. 
So all we need to add is it 37.5 million to the calculations. Okay, there we go. Uh, so working that through, uh, I have is it 500 million uh, plus 400 thousand. So is that 500.4 million? Got to be careful with all the, the millions, haven't we? Uh, and then you've got a thousand million plus twelve point five million plus thirty seven point five million, which gives me a thousand and fifty million. Okay. If you go through, tap that on your calculator. If I've got enough space, that should be forty seven point seven cents. Per share, I can just squeeze it in within there. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So just be very, very, very careful with all the millions and all the thousands. Uh, and what you will go through and find there is that both of those figures, so the 50 cents per share and the fully dilutive figure there is it at 47.7 cents per share are disclosed on the face of this performance statement the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income okay pick up a set of accounts have a look you know any company that you so wish find their performance statement and then have a look at the bottom and you will see that disclosure made there we go